morning, my friends. So we have an Ikea haul for you guys today. Jay is currently building one of the pieces. I'm gonna show you a few of the other items that we picked up. And then when Jay's finished building, we'll show you the big reveal. Right now, he is in the middle of building our new table, which I'm so excited about. So it'll look kind of like this. <laughs> this is the one that we've been using and it has had a hard life. As you can see, hopefully you can see, the paint has come off a bit weird. There's like cup stains. There's like all these weird little finishes where the paint has come off from cleaning it so much. Been through some moves. It's, yeah, it's had some, some hard times, some scrapes. Good table though. It's great table, it's very sturdy, it doesn't wobble, but it just is also very small for when we have the whole family over because when we have my sister, and her fiance and my dad and Shelly and Noah and us. It's just like <laughs> we're all trying to huddle around this tiny little table. Um, and because our countertops are the most awful countertops of the world, they're beautiful, but they, um, they absorb whatever you spill on them. I'm paranoid about letting anyone sit at the bar to actually eat anything. They can sit there and look, but they can't, they can't eat food. We needed a long, big, family friendly table. Um, so we got one from Ikea, and this is the, what What was this one called, baby? The Lorden? Is it the Lorden? Um, Norden. Norden. N -O -R -D -E -N. It's N-O-R-D-E-N. Okay, so it's the Norden. Um, I wanted it to match our light that hangs over the kitchen table. Um, also, I wanted it to have tones. Yeah, you can just have a look. So, this is what it looks like. So it's got some really pretty different tones. It's got some really light kind of cool toned wood and then it has some slightly more yellowy and then it has like these darker kind of um, warm tones. So I wanted it to tie in with everything because obviously our floors are pretty whitewashed. They're kind of like a light, very beachy, but it does have some kind of yellowy tones and then also some grayish tones. Um, and then our chairs or our counter stools are like that really warm, like rattan um, and we just kind of have like lots of different tones of wood in here so we wanted it to kind of go with everything Jay's gonna continue building that in the meantime I will show you guys what what else we got from Ikea so we got these cute little lights these I believe were $19.99 so very affordable and they're so cute the, the ones we had before were like a huge big um, cream base and then a big cream lampshade and it ended up coming up like almost to there and it kind of blocked a lot of the window so I just wanted something that was a little bit smaller a little bit more delicate um, and so now we and they have like a really pretty glow they give like a really beautiful kind of like lantern glow which I really like they're super cute so those are our sweet little lights. They have bigger ones and they also have more kind of like a, a tall kind of eggy shaped one. I just really like the one, um, I like the legs on this one. So that's why we went with that one. But I think those are really cute. That's what those look like from afar. We also got some new hangers for my little closet over here. And I do get a lot of um, questions about this little closet. I got it on Amazon. I don't even know if it's still available because I got it a while ago, but I will link it for you guys just in case. Um, but it's great because I like having one out here because this is where I do my try on hauls. And so I like having one where I can put, when I get a new box of clothes in to try on for you guys for a video, um, I immediately unbox it and then hang everything up right here so that I know this is what I need to focus on for my next try on haul. And it just makes it easier for me to kind of navigate like what's new in my closet and what's not. When we saw these, these were only $4.95 and you get eight in a pack. And I think they're so beautiful and they're actually the perfect color with the wood. They match like it was meant to be. Um, and I think for $4.95 for eight is, you know, it's not terrible, but they look really nice. And I just think it looks, it kind of just looks a little bit more cohesive now versus the velvet hangers are a little bit more glam. This is a little bit more natural. I got this and I left the tag right here. It's called the Borstad. So I have no clue what this is for. It kind of looks like it could be some kind of tennis racket. It is weird, but I don't know. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to keep it in this vase because it is kind of cute in the vase and I think you can put it in a vase if you want to. You could hang it on the on the wall. The only problem, I was gonna hang it on the wall, but then because this is quite thick right here, and this is more centered, I feel like it's gonna um, lay kind of funny uh, on the wall, like it's not gonna lie flat or flush 
which is probably going to irritate me. So I might just leave it in there. I think it kind of looks cute, um, especially in the background of my videos. So yeah, I feel like now I should have got two, which is so irritating. I don't know why I do that because now I'm like, oh, there's nothing on that side. That's irritating. But I do think it's really beautiful. That would be kind of cute around a fireplace too. Um, and I think those were like four bucks five bucks something around there it wasn't very expensive at all it was very affordable um so yeah really like that oh my gosh you guys this is hilarious so that <laughs> the borstad little thing that i am like decorating with is actually a carpet beater you're supposed to beat your carpets with it to get the dust out of it <laughs> but i am not gonna beat my carpets with that that's way too cute to beat a carpet with so I just found it on the website because I was like, what on earth is this thing for? I could not figure it out. Borstad carpet cleaner, carpet beater, $5.99. So random. I didn't even know there was such a thing, but now you know, that is what a carpet beater looks like. We also got this. So yeah, those were the lamps before. So they're really nice. I, I mean, I spent a decent amount of money on them. The shades were from Lowe's. The base is from Target. And they're really great. They just kind of take up the whole entire window space. So anyway, um, we got this little desk top. And I have no idea what this is called. Is it on the other side? It probably is, isn't it? Luckily, it's not very heavy. Whoa, I'm nervous. Oh, shite. Hopefully, I didn't break that. Oh, God. I'm going to break everything. It's called the Hilver. And I'll unbox it and show you guys because I want to put it on my desk. I wanted a smaller desktop because mine is so big right now I can hardly reach my camera and I'm when I'm filming in there and it's just obnoxious. So I got one that's a little bit more like it has a wood grain finish which I think is going to look really pretty in there. And it's just a little bit smaller, a little bit uh less wide or deep and then also a little bit less long. Jay's gonna have my desktop and he got some like adjustable legs so that he can have it in the garage. See, look how pretty this is. It's such a pretty top and it has, it's like the perfect size now. So it's got these little holes on the back so you can adjust or you can um, attach legs if you want to or you can just uh, um, put it on their Alex drawers which I'm probably just gonna be able to put it on my Alex drawers actually because it's not that deep anymore, I'll have to see. Um, but yeah, they do sell wooden legs if you want to, white legs, um, kind of looking like a silver, like stainless steel type leg. Um, they're all different prices, but I prefer the wood legs. Like if I were to just get it with legs, they... Legs were four bucks or 15 bucks for the adjustable. Yeah, but the wood ones were 25, I think. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. Isn't it pretty? I didn't know it had a bubbled edge. Yeah, it's super oh, nice. Yeah. I'm excited. It's a little... I feel like I can off. just put this on myself. That's I feel like... Bottom. Yeah. Like I got this. I don't even think I need to put legs on the bottom of it because my Alex drawers are so deep. Um, what do you think? Probably not. I don't think I will. I'll test it out. I'll right, take I'm it up there. You... What? You don't think I can do it? That's not what I said. I said this. <laughs> that means you don't think <laughs> I can do it. Well, let me know. <laughs> I just got really mad because I tried to make one of those lamps and I couldn't do it. So I'm really, <laughs> I'm so bad at putting stuff together. I, it's not like I don't need to put this together. All I need to do is take off a top and put it on. My point is, is that you still have to take your other desk out and it has the legs on the back side. How are you going to, oh, how are yeah, you going to do that? Oh yeah, that's awkward. I'll just leave it in there for you to do. So you can't do it. I can do this. I can't do that. Okay guys, it is built. It is beautiful. So these chairs we actually thrifted. We got these from Habitat for Humanity, I think about a year ago. Um, and we've been holding on to them. They've kind of been placed all over the house in random spots. Like they used to be two were there, two were in the bedroom, two were in the guest room. But I was hoping that one day we would have a table that they would go with that we could have it as a full dining set. And the day has come and I'm so excited because here is the final result of the gorgeous, what was this table called? I think it's Norden, babe, I'm pretty sure. Norden Ikea table. So this is actually extendable. So you can make it so that it is a four person or you can make it Norden? Yep. Okay, or you can add this little middle section in right here and make it a six person. So we have it so that it's just gonna always be extended out. I really like the look of a big long table that everyone can gather around. Our chairs actually look like it was meant to be. Like, it's so perfect. The only thing I wish we had was more of these pillows, which we also got from Ikea. They're like in the little Turkish rug section, um, which right now those are empty, which is the total bums and the sums, but we'll 
one day get some more. I wonder if those will ship. I bet you can order those online and ship them for $10, don't you, you think? Try. Yeah, I'll try and do that. That's, That's the problem. Ikea, if you try and ship the furniture, it's like $199 shipping fee, which is ridiculous. I don't know how they get away with that. But if you order small things like pillowcases or like a little, you know, something or other, um, their shipping fee is $10. So I think that'd be worth that it. might be worth it, yeah, because it would cost more in gas to drive there. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Yeah, so I think we're gonna end up getting two more pillows and then those will go there and then it'll be the two pinks and then the Probably just leave those. I'm not sure but yeah, there's the table. It okay. wasn't hard to build either. Oh, I thought the table was gonna be really hard to put together. Yeah um, Honestly, it wasn't hard. Yeah, it didn't take him long. It was like what 30 minutes 30 minutes. Really. Yeah, it wasn't bad because at the top Pieces go together and it, it all goes together really quite simple. Yeah, um, and I like it and how much did we pay for that? Three twenty nine. Three twenty nine. Yeah, I think not bad. I mean, not bad. for a table that big that looks that nice, and I'm like, a it's gorge. I like stuff that's pretty sturdy and it's, it's quite sturdy. And it's it doesn't nice. scooch around. It comes with like plastic kind of mm -hmm. um, holder thingamabobbers on the bottom of the legs. Okay. It's lovely and it matches so well with our light. We just need to change out this fan now. This fan is really throwing off the whole. Yeah. Sitch very happy with the table and it look it matches our our little counter stools so well It looks like it all goes like it's a flow It's a good flow now with our little wood lamps over there and our little rattan table over there It's so cute. I love it Are you gonna show your desk? Upstairs? I'm gonna show my desk upstairs. Are you gonna build yours? Yeah, I was going to right Okay, now. you build yours. Okay guys, so here is mine so before I just had this big massive white top and it was the, what's it called? I think it's a Linman. Um, but it was just like this big, massive white, like, but it was so wide that when I'm sitting here and I'm trying to reach my camera to turn it on and off and change the battery, it's honestly like so annoying. It was so far away. And it just felt like I was super far from my camera. So now, um, and I really just kind of wanted to bring a little bit more wood into this space and also, it kind of matches exactly with this little box that I got in PR. So I love it. I really like the green of it. I think it looks really pretty. Kind of just looks like bamboo. See how it's just barely past the back? Like it almost fits perfectly on these drawers. These are from Ikea as well. They're the Alex. I think they're the Alex. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, so we didn't even have to attach legs. But Jay got some of that sticky, the, it's like sticky on both sides by 3M or whatever. And he just stuck a big, huge strip right on the base here at the end underneath so that now it won't slide back and forth. It's like super um, stable on each side. So each side has a line of tape, a line of tape. And so now like it, the, the tabletop won't slide or move onto or off of the base. So you don't even need to buy legs if you do this. If you do need storage, whether it's for art, craft, makeup, um, office supplies, you know, just paperwork and stuff, this is a really cute way to go. And I like the way, you know, I still have the white base, but then I have that little bit of wood that ties in with, um, you know, cause I have like this little wood here. I have little wood here. I have Fiona's like chewed up bits all over the floor in here. It's not, it's not very clean at the moment, but I have this little rattan table from Ikea as well. So yes, there is my desk. Not so cute underneath because that's where I have all my wires and lights and plugs and it's not adorable, but at least the top is very pretty and I like that. You know what I like about it is that it, um, you know, it's kind of like a little beveled here. So it just looks really nice. It's like very smooth and like silky feeling. And then I just lined it up so that it's exactly like the bottom part is exactly with the front and then exactly with the side right here. If you guys can see that. Really nice. And I think this was like $79. So not very expensive, especially if you already own, you know, these drawers, then you already are good with that. All you have to do is just buy the, the, the desktop and then you don't even need to buy legs. Um, but if you do want to buy the legs, there's the wood legs are $25. So then that would be an extra hundred or you can get them for four bucks. 10 bucks. I think there's some for 15. So it just really depends on like what color or what kind of feel you want for the legs. But I would probably go with the wood legs if I didn't have a base like this. Um, 
because those are really cute. This would also actually be really cute as like a little dining table if you have a small space. If you just get the wooden legs, which are $25 a piece, I believe, it would be $179. And then you'd have this really cute little dining table. I mean, it's still a good enough size to where you could still fit, you know, two chairs on either side. And, you know, it wouldn't be the biggest dining table, but if you have a small space or you need to like put it up against a wall um, and just have it like one, two, three, four, you know, because you have like an apartment or a condo or something like that, I think it would be a really beautiful dining table at a lot less, you know, money and a lot smaller if you do have a smaller space. So I know that, you know, we lived in plenty of apartments where we didn't have that much room for a big dining table or even like a circle one. And I think this would have been a great option for us if, you know, we did need something a little smaller and we were on a limited budget, which we were on a very limited budget back then. We couldn't even afford Ikea back then. We had to go to garage sales and thrift stores and hand-me-downs from people's barns. It's a great option for a desk or dining table if you just want a smaller one, but I love the way it looks. I feel like it's super adorable. My chair is looking a little worn, but hey. We just take little baby steps, folks. So, there you guys go. I have on my channel very soon, I'm gonna be filming a all Wander Beauty um, makeup tutorial. So, I have everything to create an entire look. The foundation, I have to wait until my self-tan fades a little bit because I accidentally got a color that is like mm, a little bit light. So, I'm gonna be trying out all of these Wander Beauty um, products in a look. So I've got some skincare, I've got makeup. So I'm very excited for that. I think it'll be fun. I haven't tried much of the Wander Beauty makeup. I've only tried a few things here and there, um, but I'm excited and they're cruelty free, which I'm trying to like incorporate more cruelty free brands into my collection and my routine. So I figured I would give those a go. So you guys can look out for that on my channel too. And now I think Jay is going to build his desk in the garage. He just wants like a tabletop space so that when he has things that he's doing out there, like normally he has to put everything on the floor, which is not ideal for your back. Um, and so now he'll have like an actual space and all he had to do was just buy the legs. I think the legs that he bought were like 15 a leg. So not terrible. And then we already had the desktop, so he's only out the four legs. This is Jay's new desk. So this was the desktop that was on my table. So you can see it's pretty big. It's a massive desk. But then he just got these extendable legs so you can have them short like a table or you can have them tall like a counter. And I feel like those, it looks great, babe. Yes. Do you like it? I do, it's really nice height. Yeah, that's a good height. And you don't have now to, when you can... Don't have to bend over to use it. It's yeah. Just, it's just right here. That's awesome. Yay. Are you excited? Yeah, really. How much were those legs? 15 bucks? 15 bucks a piece. Nice. So what right. is that? 60. Oh, $60. Cool. The tabletop is from Ikea as well. And really, like, if you're looking for a cheap table, yeah. you could get $4 legs. Yeah. They just screw into this. And, and these tops are what? 50 tops, bucks? 50, I think. Yeah. 59. Yeah. So, I mean, you could get a really cheap table. And these tables are... Yeah. They're pretty good. They're sturdy. Especially cool. Especially this, this glossy one. Yeah, they're super easy to clean. They never get scuffed up like this thing mm. did. This wipes up real good. Yeah. You, you can just... Up. I just use um, glass cleaner on this it. This has been your makeup desk for a long time. Yeah, I've had that for years. Cool. Well, winning. Yeah, that's nice. I think that was a successful IKEA haul. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm very happy with it. So, there you guys go. Check out this Whopper. It's literally taking so long to go away now. It's so annoying, I hate lip zits. I hope you guys enjoy, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys very soon.